Welcome everybody. This is Lucas Miller with a little kitchen table science for you. You can try this at home to help you learn about ocean currents. First of all, you're gonna need yourself a nice plastic container. It's gotta be clear, gotta be nice and flat down here. You can get them in a lot of places. Maybe I'll put a link to a good one in the description down below, okay? Then you're gonna need a couple of coffee mugs. Now I've got uh, three and they're all the same. You wanna have three of the same height. You're gonna rest your container on two of them and then later on we're gonna slide this third one underneath it like that. You're gonna need some food coloring. You're gonna want at least one color. I'm gonna do two colors. I'm gonna be really fancy here. And I'm gonna use two colors so that you can really see these currents going. I got some red food coloring, and in my little thing here, I got some blue food coloring. This is called a pipette. If you have one, great. They're about 10 cents. Uh, if you've got an eyedropper, that's gonna work too. I got a pitcher full of water. I'm trying not to spill it all over my table. If you do spill it all over to the table, these might be handy, some paper towels. Fill this up most of the way, here we go. Cool. Didn't get quite enough water in there, so more water. Get it just about to the top. You don't wanna make it so you spill it all over the place when it's time to empty this thing out, but pretty close to the top. Electric tea kettle here. We're gonna heat up some water. We're gonna turn that on right now. Heating up the water, get it nice and hot. You might need some parental or teacher supervision to make sure you don't hurt yourself, because hot water can really hurt you. Take some food coloring, because I want you to see how the water moves. This is gonna help us see the water move. And the cool thing is if we get this right to the very, very, very end like that with very little air, we can drop this in, put a little blob of that food coloring at the very bottom, and because it is more dense, it's gonna stay right there. Now I'm also gonna take a little bit of blue food coloring and put a dab on either side, and we will get to see the water moving in two different ways using the blue and the red food coloring. Blob number one. Here come blob number two right to the end. Doesn't have to be perfect. Oh yes, I forgot. Whenever you're doing science, you're supposed to go <laughs> Now, I'm gonna take my hot water, steaming hot water, gonna pour that into this mug, get it just about to the top. Real carefully slide it right underneath that red blob of food coloring. Takes about 30 seconds or so. And now watch what happens. 